Having a procedural house generator is very useful. To get started, we're gonna create a L system. This is then used to create a random shape for the house. In the L system, we're gonna change some values like step size and our angle has to be 90 degrees. We're also gonna fill in some basic rules so we have a little bit more control in the shape. Then doing some cleanup by transforming and fusing points together. We need to use a polyframe to correct the normals and using the N in tangent name and set the style to first edge. Then we're gonna copy to point a grid on these points after that we are going to do a fuse and we're going to extrude the shape then we're going to link the distance to the divisions so each floor is then separated then also enable the front group this front group can be used in the split to separate the walls and the top from each other and we're going to start first off with the walls we're going to do a for each primitive and in there we're going to use normals and set it to points then we're going to fuse the points together and make sure to disable repeat vertices and recalculate normals then points are now having the right normal direction. After that I'm going to use a split node and point zero will always be my door. Then I have some pre-made models and copy them on the points. Then using a group range node to switch between walls and windows and set it to points and give a value in the off. Then based on this group range node we're going to copy to points these boxes. Then in one of the copy to points we can use a explanation mark to reverse the group selection and merge all these copy to points together to get the basic of the house. Then you can also fill in a sort node and this will add some more randomness to the generator. Next we want to place some models on the corners so we're gonna go back up and flatten the base shape. Then we're gonna add normals again by copy pasting the polyframe and we're gonna copy some boxes on there. Then we're gonna adjust the center to place the boxes better. Use a duplicate node and use the distance from the extrude to the amount of duplicates. Then also add one in the y-axis of the duplicate. Merge the results. Then for the roof we're going to use the flatten. Then using an extrude node and disable the output sides and also give it an inset. Then using a poly expand node, change the output to surface and set some offset. Then also disable the output outside. And lastly enable the edge attribute. This attribute has to be promoted from vertex to points. And in this wrangle, we can use this attribute to add it to the Y position. This will result in nice roof shapes. And lastly, doing a small cleanup, I merge the results. After that, this is the result, and you can build hundreds of houses with this tool.